Welcome to the Melbourne Cup 2008. I'm standing in the betting ring at the moment and it's early morning but I can tell you the punters are already getting on. The weather down here is pretty good. The forecast top is uh, 20 and the rail is out 2 metres today which leads me to assume that the Melbourne Cup which is usually 3,200 metres might be something more like 3,202. I'll tell you what, one, one guy who has collected a lot of money during this spring racing carnival is Mark Havanagh. Paul Hogan's talking to him trackside. Let's catch up. There are two schools of thought that uh, brown horses are faster than black horses and vice versa. Is there a colour of horse that you would choose over any other? No. Some philosophical words there from the track. I'll cross back to you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Well, the betting ring is already a hive of activity. Everybody getting on before the big race. This gentleman here perhaps collecting a few phone numbers and um, oh, he's got the trifecta so that's a good start to his day this gentleman looking a little solemn already perhaps uh, having lost some money although the first race hasn't been run so perhaps it was a a bit with a cab driver that went awry of course Melbourne Cup Day always does coincide with J.R. Ewing Appreciation Day you can see a fan there Although she's been dead for 30 years, this gentleman's mother, of course, naming all his belongings and um, good to see his bag there with the name on it. His underwear, of course, named in the same font and that's good to see. So that's the latest down here from the betting ring. Uh, I'm just about to put a bet on myself and I just thought I might, might ask the pontiff uh, any hot tips for the Melbourne Cup. Red Lodge. Red Lodge, I'm going to get on immediately.